this episode. We're going to be covering uh, the install of the supercharger on my little Beetle. Uh, took us a couple of weeks on and off, obviously me running between customers and mixing paint and doing all the usual things. But in between, I, you know, we pulled the motor out, put it back in, painted it, fitted the supercharger, got it all running and driving. So we'll cover that. Uh, at the start, uh, Kyle's car, a little video on that. It's gone out to get uh, exhaust and wiring done and a couple of cars are called in during the week. Enjoy the video. This is my 1967 uh, Volkswagen Beetle for the Americans that are here watching. It'll be a 1964. In Australia, we carry them a little longer. It's a pretty standard car. It's been rebuilt. The previous owner went through, did the brake steering suspension, wired it, 12 volt conversion, put a 1600 twin port. I bought it, got it registered. I've lowered the front a bit, narrower front wheels. Uh, done a few bits and pieces just to tidy up the paint here and there. Last year we went through and I redid the interior, TMI door cards, TMI seat covers, Moon Eye steering wheel, Sam and Luke at Deluxe Creations did a custom shift knob and those little dash mount things there are new old stock Moon Eyes uh, radio knobs with a little foot, uh, no longer available. I just thought I'd put them on the headlights and wipe us for something different. We're going to go through fitting the supercharger in just a minute. There's Craig tearing in. Luckily he stops there. This is what the engine looked like before we started. Watch out. In the previous video, you would have seen what the engine bay looked like when we started. So I'm gonna run you through what we've changed and what we fitted. So originally, the carving for the Volkswagen was in the middle, come down to a manifold. Fuel pump was here. Distributor came out there. We've removed all of that, it's all gone, obviously. Now, we've got the AMR 500 supercharger that bolts down into a stand to where the fuel pump used to go. Comes out this way to a uh, Weber DCOE 40. Feeds down into here, into, a manif into the manifold and comes across. We also decided to go with a uh, trigger fired ignition system, which I'd never done before, but hey, we got there the landing curve and how it works. Behind the pulley, there's a, a reluctor wheel with the teeth. Just in here, behind there, there's a little sensor that sends the feed up to the ECU that's here. And behind the, the, the tinware or the doghouse as it's sometimes called, is a, a coil pack. Once we got all that wired in and, and mounted up and that sort of thing. Obviously we had to run an electric fuel pump, so we mounted that at the front, ran new fuel lines, a whole bunch of wiring and that sort of thing. Here we have essentially the finished product. I did also fit a new exhaust. Um, it didn't go too badly considering uh, that how, like as a kit, I bought the kit used. I think if you bought the kit new directly off Joe Blow, all the parts would have been there. We were missing a few bits and pieces. We had to machine up a a spacer for the crank pulley, the cable joiner wasn't missing because the cable runs through here and you have to connect to the original Volkswagen cable. But apart from that, it mounted up and bolted up okay. A couple of spacers here and there, wasn't too bad to do really. The ignition system was probably a little more challenging having not really done one before, but we got it all set up. Uh, we had to run through a process of uh, connecting up the like a laptop to the ECU, Bluetooth, all that sort of stuff, and then check the cranking and make sure everything worked and check that. So we did that and we thought we'd give it a go. 
didn't quite go that well first time. Have a look. Yeah. So as you can see, we had some backfiring that sort of thing, which led us to believe that maybe the timing was a bit out. So we had to basically double check we were on top dead center. We had to go get a timing gun. The first two we tried didn't work. So then we had to essentially make up a lead, get a timing gun. Once we got the timing gun on it and we got timing, we knew that we were pretty close and then we were able to fire it up. Once we got it fired up and started, obviously tuning the carby, it probably still needs a bit more playing with. I've got a friend of ours, Simon, is gonna drop past hopefully Monday, Tuesday, just to check our air fuel ratios are correct. It does run okay, obviously I'll put up a video in a second and you can see that it's the key we start. I'll show you the little test drive video. Compared to how the car went before, it's no race car, it's, it's a Volkswagen with a 1600 motor that's basically stock. It maybe would have done 20 second quarter miles before. I don't know what it will do now. It's certainly a lot more responsive, definitely has a lot more low down power, a lot more torque. Uh, it's a lot louder and noisy, and it, but it definitely feels a lot better. For, for a bolt-on increase, it was significant. You know, you can do it little bits and pieces and twin carbs and that sort of thing and you'll pick up a little bit here and there. Uh, Mick that designed it, he says that we that the stock 1600 engine is around about 50 horsepower. The supercharger kit should take it to a bit over 80. Then with the better ignition and with the, the better exhaust, hopefully have maybe gotten a little bit more, maybe have gotten to 90, I don't know. Once it's fine tuned and you know we get the air fuel correct and you know, maybe once we've done that, we may even then have to look at the time a bit more, but um, certainly wasn't a bad job to do. If you're gonna do the job yourself and you're thinking about buying a kit yourself to do at home, fitting the supercharger, that sort of thing, I think most guys could do it. You've obviously got to, obviously every motor's slightly different, you might have the spacings here and there, but it, it bolted together well. The trigger ignition system is definitely a learning curve. We got through it, we got Craig's son Cody in, he's younger, he understands all this computer stuff. We had just hadn't done it. So we learned a lot by doing it. A simple way to go probably would have been just to put in an electronic ignition, uh, you know, like MSD, and I think I think there is obviously other ones available. Um, a worthy upgrade, um, check out the video of it running and driving, and maybe in a week or two, once we've done a bit more fine tuning, we still have to do things like we've put a, this support thing here, we were just worried the supercharger would drop. Um, we'll do something nicer, a little bit of tidying up here and there. But all in all, it went well, it's running and driving. Check it out. Thanks for coming. Yep. Yeah, that, that'll do it. <laughs>